Vishnu is among the most important deities of Hinduism. Together with Brahma and Shiva, Vishnu forms the principal trinity of Hindu religious practice. Hinduism teaches that whenever humanity is threatened by chaos or evil, Vishnu will descend into the world in one of his incarnations to restore righteousness. As mentioned in the Holy Bhagavad Gita, whenever there is a decline in righteous and whenever there is predominance of unrighteousness, I incarnate on earth. The incarnations that Vishnu takes are called avatars. Collectively, the avatars of Vishnu are called the Saavatar. Each has a different form and purpose. The first avatar. When Manu, who is believed to be the first human on earth, was stuck in the great flood, Lord Vishnu incarnated himself as Matsya. Matsya is sometimes depicted as a great fish or a human torso connected to the tail of a fish. Matsya is said to have forewarned man about the oncoming flood and ordered him to preserve all the grains and living creatures in a bowl. The second avatar. Mandachala was initially used to churn the ocean, but as the ocean was too deep, it started to drown and hence Lord Vishnu descended on earth. Appearing in the form of a giant tortoise, Lord Vishnu carried the huge mountain Mandrachala. Kurma is the tortoise incarnation. Vishnu took the form of a tortoise upon which to support the churning stick on his back. The Kurma avatar of Vishnu is usually seen in a mixed human-animal form. You can also check out an interesting part from Churning of the Ocean in our Shiva video on our YouTube channel. The Third Avatar A demon named Hiranyaksha took the whole of earth to the bottom of the sea. Lord Vishnu came in the form of Varaha, a wild boar. After a battle of thousand years, Varaha raised the earth out of the water with his tusks and placed it back in its place. Varaha is depicted as either a full boar form or a boar head on a human body. The fourth avatar. Hiranyakashyapa demon had a bone that he could be killed neither by a human nor by an animal, neither inside the house nor outside, nor at day nor at night, nor on earth nor in the sky, and not with any weapon. Hence, Lord Vishnu took the form of half lion and half human and killed the demon at dusk with his nails on the threshold of his house, keeping the demon on his thighs. Also, Hiranyakashyap's son, Prahlad, was an ardent devotee of Lord Vishnu. The demon asked his sister to sit in the burning pyre with his son to teach him a lesson. His sister had a boon that he she cannot be burned, but the prayers by Prahlad were so strong that he remained safe and the sister died. The name of sister was Holika. This is one of the reasons to celebrate the festival of Holi. The fifth of Dhar. In Treta Yuk, Lord Vishnu incarnated himself as Brahman to end the rule of generous demon king Bali. The demon king had forcefully captured three different worlds and the gods lost all their power. When Lord Vishnu, a Brahman, asked for three feet of land, Bali laughed and gave it away. Vaman then became a giant and completed everything in just two feet steps. Bali agreed to give away his head after he realized that it was Lord Vishnu. He was granted moksha after Vaman took the third step over Bali's head. The Sixth Avatar Lord Vishnu took the form of a Brahmin to end the tyrannical rule of unrighteous kings and protect humanity from danger. Parshuram prayed to Lord Shiva and acquired an axe which is used to terminate the race. The Seventh Avatar Lord Rama is the seventh Avatar of Vishnu and a major deity of Hinduism. He is considered supreme in some traditions. He is the central figure of the ancient Hindu epic Ramayana and is known as the King of Ayodhya, which is Rama's birthplace. After the King of Lanka abducted his wife, he set out to rescue her by gathering an army in the way. He defeated Ravan and brought peace again. The Eighth Avatar Lord Krishna is the eighth avatar of Vishnu and is one of the most widely revered deities in Hinduism. He defeated his evil uncle Kans at a very young age. He started the kingdom of Dwarka in Western India. He was the key role in the epic Mahabharat. It is often said that Mahabharat was actually fought as a battle of wits between Lord Krishna and Uncle Shakun. Lord Krishna stood on the side of Pandavas as a charioteer and advised them on every step of the war for their victory. The Ninth Avatar It is often said that the Balram, the elder brother of Lord Krishna, is the ninth avatar of Lord Vishnu. But some people also believe that Gautam Buddha, the prince who left his kingdom to attain enlightenment, is the ninth avatar.
in the 10th avatar. Kalki is the last incarnation of Vishnu. He is not expected to appear until the end of Kali Yuga, the current time period. It is believed that Lord Vishnu will appear on a white horse under the mighty sword and destroy the evil existing in mankind. Lord Vishnu is yet to take this avatar.